I broke the LCD on this second generation iPod Touch and on the internet there really there's some good tutorials but they really don't show you kind of like the nasty bits of the, of the repair so I just wanted to make this short video short um, to clue you in on some of the little tricks maybe just to make it easier on this repair so I've already taken off the um, the LCD, which is over, or sorry, the digitizer, which is over there, um, and but I'm also going to tell you some tricks on that. First off, um, there are these little. I'll probably do a different clip. There are these little um, clips. It's not just a. Uh, it's not just an all-around type thing, and that really got me at first. I actually broke the glass when I was trying to take it off. And, um, so just know that there's these clips, and I'll get a better shot of it later, and you actually have to pop it out unless you don't really care about breaking the glass out, but it just, it makes it easier if you don't do that. This is kind of a close-up of those clips, just to, um, just to show that they're not, um, you can't just pry through. You have to, uh, actually undo the clips when you're getting the glass off. So first off, um, a little bit about the part itself. You see that we have a, uh, a ribbon connector here that um, actually is, it goes along the back like that. So when we take it up, we're actually going to lift it this way. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is take this little um, copper thing off the top. So after you flipped the uh, the little copper thing up, uh, there's one screw up there at the top, um, and so that's the next step. We'll take that out. All right. So after you've done that, um, we're gonna need to take or lift up the actual LCD, and remember that's gonna go from bottom up. So here we go. After you've done that, um, you can kind of prop it up with something. We'll have seven screws that we'll need to take out, and those are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the bottom two are black, so you'll probably just need to put those in a separate place. Now, actually, before um, before we do that, we're gonna want to take the um, ribbon cable, just kind of loosen it a little bit. All right, so I just loosen that, and then um, then we go for the clips. So on this one, the uh, the battery actually stuck to the stuck to the roof of. I'm just not really going to mess with that. I'm just going to undo the cable and put in the new one. Yep, so I've got my new LCD. And first, let's screw in the screws that are under here. And then we'll put the ribbon cable, like pop that in, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so after we, um, after we get all the screws in, we can go ahead and um, take our ribbon cable there. Make sure that they're lined up, because those can be damaged. And, um pop it right on in and we will um, flip this over and there it looks like it's uh, looks like it's working great so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the top corner in now um, now that we've got it all together and I've I've peeled off the protective coating um, what I'm gonna want to do is usually these will come with the set these are um, just some stickies and I'm gonna put them under it so it doesn't uh, move around after I'm done. The screen doesn't. Then uh, after that's all done, we'll take our um, brand new digitizer here and um, and we'll we'll put that on and check out, make sure everything works. Be, again, be very careful when you're putting this in to put it right on the clips because if you don't and you push hard, you're gonna break the LCD. And uh, have to wait for it to come in the mail and all that sort of stuff. 
Alright, so as you can see right now, I'm halfway through putting it back in, and uh, pretty soon I'll have a like new iPod. There we go. Um, one completely functional iPod. Thanks, guys.